Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Around two months back, we have reported that India will test its longest range ballistic missile Agni-6. Now most of the media outlet including some Chinese media is reporting the same. India has not been prioritizing the test of Agni-6 because it does not want to unnecessarily alarm the West. At present, India's foreign policies and relations with many Western and especially Middle East nations is at its epitome. Several bilateral and multilateral projects are on. In this situation, it does not make sense for government to officially admit the Agni-6 program as it may ring alarm bells. The Indian government policy has always been of peace, but now the turning geopolitical tide demands that India must test Agni-6 missile and I will explain you why. On Monday, in a wheeled reference to Pakistan, the External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar, while answering a question by an Australian reporter, said that India has a substantial inventory of Soviet and Russian origin weapons because the Western countries opted a military dictatorship in the region as its preferred partner and did not supply arms to New Delhi for decades. US has reset its tie with Pakistan and this was expected when Biden administration came to power. Recently, Biden administration has approved a 450 million package for the upgradation of F-16 fleet of Pakistan, reversing the decision of the previous Trump administration to suspend military aid to Islamabad for providing safe havens for the Afghan Taliban and the Haqqani network. US has also imposed sanctions against a Mumbai-based Indian company for alleged import of oil from Iran. Recently, the US ambassador visited Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and called it Azad Jammu Kashmir AJK. In contrary, US has not appointed any ambassador to India since January 2021. Recently, the Germany's foreign minister has also called for UN role in Kashmir during Pak foreign minister Bhutto's visit to Bonn. It's worth noting that Germany is another close ally of United States. The Biden administration has also issued travel advisory to US citizens to exercise increased caution while traveling to India, claiming crime and terrorism as a reason and advised not to travel to Jammu and Kashmir despite peaceful conditions. Is US expecting terror attacks in Kashmir? That's the question. What is Pak Army's chief doing in a CIA headquarters barely a few weeks before his retirement? That's another important question. Now, if you join all these incidents, there's only one message that US is trying to send to India. It is trying to tame India to fall in line with its policy that is oppose Russia and stop import of Russian oil. India has been trying its best to build cordial relations with US and West. This can work only till some extent. Therefore, the need of our is nuclear deterrence. On 27th October 2021, surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missile Agni-5 was successfully tested from APJ Abdul Kalam Island. The missile uses three-stage solid-fueled engine and is capable of striking targets at range up to 5,500 km, but unofficially it is alleged to have maximum range of up to 8,000 km. The missile weighs close to 50,000 kg, 17.5 meters in height and having diameter of 2 meters. The 1500 kg warhead will be placed on top of the three-stage rocket boosters powered by solid fuel. The ICBM has a maximum speed of Mach 24 and is equipped with a ring gyroscope inertial navigation system that works with satellite guidance. The missile can hit its target with CP that is circular error probability of less than 30 meters and can be launched from mobile launchers such as 8x8 Tatra TL and rail mobile launcher. India is also working on multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRV for Agni-5 to ensure a credible second strike capability. It has also been reported that Agni-5 missiles are MIRV capable which India has tested indirectly. According to Bharat Karnad who was involved in drafting India's nuclear doctrine, the MIRV capability of the missile guidance system on chip was tested during the 
Multi Satellite PSLV launch on 25th February 2013. The MIRV is important as each warhead can be assigned to a different target separated by hundreds of kilometers or two or more warheads can be assigned to one target. The Agni 5 is expected to feature multiple independently targetable reentry vehicle with each missile being capable of carrying 2 to 10 separate nuclear warheads. The MIRVs ensure a credible second strike capability even with few missiles. Unlike Agni 5, Agni 6 is going to be a four stage rocket. It will have two unique features, a range of more than 10000 km and MIRV capability. As per few sources, Agni 6 missile is likely to carry up to 10 MIRV warheads and will have a strike range of 12000 km. However, DRDO has refused to confirm on missile range. The huge range of this missile makes its absolute necessity for India as it will be capable of hitting farthest corner of China from a safer and survival distance within the Indian territory. As per few reports, the missile design is complete and its hardware is under fabrication. There won't be much information available about this program and India prefers to be tight-lipped regarding Agni 6. But unofficially, Agni 6 project is on track, and India has already developed many critical technologies required for this missile, and partially these technologies have been demonstrated as well. Now, as per various media reports, also India could test or at least ready the Agni 6 missile as technology demonstrator in the coming three years and validate the computer simulations. The new generation Agni 6 missile will be sleeker, easily transportable, and would be readily deployable. it will have the capability to be launched from submarine as well as from the land based launchers this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector